Hello, uh, my name is James Burton and I'm here to talk to you about uh, the particle systems of ether and um, kind of what the objectives were uh, straight from the uh, straight from when we started to do them and um, how we kind of went around uh, making them as quick as possible uh, and as efficiently as possible. So um, again, the the objective. Uh, from the beginning was how can we make some particle systems that hold up to the ether style as it's been kind of like a constant throughout the whole development process so making them hand painted and making them look um, well etherish <laughs> um, was a, a very important goal from the beginning so um, every time we created any kind of uh, particle system the first kind of uh, rule that we uh, I gave myself was kind of make uh, make the texture hand painted. Um, <coughs> second, we needed to make them as fast as possible. Um, <coughs> again, we're a team of two artists, and um, I'm the only one doing video effects and stuff. So I needed to get the particles finished and then move to actually doing some environment art as quickly as possible. So uh, making them as fast as possible, which means using minimum resources and making them look as well, convincing as possible. So, um, I'll walk you through what, kind of what we ended up doing to get those results. So, the first particle system I'm going to be looking at, and actually it was the uh, second particle system that I actually made, but um, it's I think it's worth looking first because it kind of uh, gets the whole speedy process across really quick. So, um, we needed to like. Uh, for a hand painted game and stuff like that, um, usually like the idea is that you kind of move away from technology as possible and go as traditional as you can. But um, in the case of particles and stuff like that, um, I kind of moved towards technology as much as I could and let the uh, engine do as much of the work um, as I could. As long as it looked convincing, it'd be fine. So uh, the first particle system I want to look at is these uh, flies going around the lamps. So you can see them here, and then you can also see them in the distance there, and in other lamp posts. There's some flies running around. So um, uh, it had to be as simple as possible. So um, the texture is just a 16 by 16 texture, um, really simple. Uh, and then um, uh, let me see if I can get it. Uh, 16 by 16 texture and then it's just a, an orbit module uh, making the texture float about. Uh, if I can find narrative tech, there you are. And I'll fully load this and show you the actual... Oh, wait. He doesn't want to appear so... I'm going to have to select it from here. Grab this guy. Here we go. So, um, <coughs> this is our flies particle. So, as you can see, uh, all we're doing is um, spawning a number of planes or a number of particles in a spherical uh, radius, and then. Uh, we're making them uh, orbit around uh, different uh, centers, so it's a really, really simple uh, um, particle system that you can make in literally five minutes, and all you need to do is tweak the values here. So, um, uh, again, they're flies going around uh, a lamp. Uh, it's meant to uh, give some atmosphere and some life to the to the um, to the environment, but it doesn't need to be extremely polished uh, to the level that um, I don't know the grass or uh, the foliage in the game has to be. So um, allowing technology to just do the best job it can for us was kind of the uh, way to go with this, and um, I think it gives quite a convincing effect. Um, the, as for the texture, it's just a um, um, well originally it was just a white dot, but um, since uh, the game well, the player would only see it from this distance. We decided to introduce a tiny Easter egg, 
and um, <laughs> if you want to see it, it's actually um, our other artist, OJ. Uh, he has a very funny picture on on his uh, Skype, so I decided to make, turn it into the flies that are in the game. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's pretty much uh, the, the particle system for the flies. I mean, again, it's supposed to be as simple as possible, and as quickly made as possible. So, um, something that's not really going to be seen that much, and it's just there to create atmosphere and you know give some life to the environment. Um, a quickly, quickly made kind of five-minute particle system was, I think, the way to go with it. Um, but actually, I want to now look at. Um, if you can see there in the distance, and you probably can't see it too well in the video, um, there's. Uh, some big chimneys with a lot of smoke coming out of it. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to zoom into it so you can kind of see how the smoke particle system actually is. And this is a, a good example of what I was saying before. It needs to it needs to be in the ether style, and it needs to look like it belongs in the ether universe. But we need to make it as quick as possible. So, um, in hand painted smoke. Uh, and I think it gives quite a convincing effect, and I'll just walk you through how it was actually made, uh, so we can look at um, and maybe different approaches that I might take next time. Uh, but again, really simple particle system that uh, could be done in well, not too long. Uh, it's mostly the texture that takes the longest. So basically, the principle that we're applying here is um, what we call a flip book, and um, if I can find it on the content browser, I'll be able to explain this much better. Right, so here is uh, well, here's our part uh, a particle texture, and I'm going to double click it to open it and kind of put it here. And I'm going to get rid of the checkered background. Uh, all you need to know is that that's kind of transparent. Um, so if you can see, uh, we have a I'll actually see if I can make this bigger. Um uh, No, I can't make it bigger. Anyways, um it's a hand painted kind of smoke texture and it has the line work inside. But um it kind of uh it, it it's an image divided in sixteen parts, so it's a four by four image. And um <coughs> What I do is basically I I make the kind of animation that the smoke would have as it would you know going through the um or going through the process of you know being in com uh, of combustion and stuff. So um, it starts with a small kind of dust particle, then it kind of develops into a smoke cloud, and then it's quite a thick but condensed smoke cloud. And as it expands, it kind of becomes more transparent and fades out into really just air. So, um, we need to tell the program to kind of follow this uh, animation pattern, and uh, it's actually really simple. Uh, all you need to remember is when you import the texture, you set it to uh, for it to be a flipbook. Uh, so right here, it knows it's a flipbook. So um, there's no problem there. So uh, if I look at the actual particle system for the chimney smoke, um, again, it's quite a, a simple um, particle system. Um, I'll explain what we're kind of doing. Uh, basically, um, the the smoke is going in uh, a certain direction in x, uh, a certain speed uh, in the x axis. Um, this was just because uh, we knew that we were going to have wind in the game, so uh, I had to kind of um, emulate uh, or at least be able to point the smoke to go into one direction wherever that we decided the wind was pointing in. Um, because we couldn't really make the particle system be affected by uh, the wind vector that we have in the game. Uh, so it's, this is just kind of like a cheap way of going around it. Um, but uh, what we're actually doing here is flipping through the whole animation. Um, UDK is able to kind of uh, uh, dissect this into a 4x4 image, as long as you tell it it's a 4x4 image. <laughs> so you just have to make sure that those parameters are set correctly and then uh, the program does the rest itself. Uh, so that's just for the animation bit. Um, uh, just set a lifetime for it. 
and uh, make sure you change the size of the particle over t over life. Um, color over life here will control. Uh, basically, all I'm controlling is the alpha over life, so I'm making it more transparent as we uh, as it goes forward. And then um, something that might be interesting. Uh, this is the sphere in which it's being spawned. So if I show in editor. Uh, there's where the actual particle is being spawned. Uh, I only spawn them in this small area. Um, and then they kind of grow and become bigger as they go. So again, um, it's quite a simple particle system. All you needed to really understand is the flipbook principles. And um, again, the idea is that it's true to the ESA style. I don't think this would um, kind of be amazing in, you know, kind of like a next gen. <laughs> Uh, title or something like that, but I think Ether with its painterly style and uh, I think it can quite be benefits quite a lot from that. And again, it's uh, particle systems to create atmosphere and, and give uh, a sense of liveliness to the to the environment. So when the player's going around here and looks up and there's you know something going on in the background, hopefully it will draw their eye. Um, more particle systems uh, that I made in side of Ether. Oh, actually, this is quite an important one. Um, this is a set piece. So we wanted to make uh, wind particles, uh, or actually make something that had uh, wind, but um, or, or at least it gave the the impression that there's wind in the scene, and that uh, we can really like be lifting loads of dust up in the air and stuff because that would basically create too much overdraw and affect performance too much, and it would probably take a long time to get it right. Um, so again, we decided to uh, strip it back as much as we could, and um, kind of think how we could make it look like uh, ether, basically. So um, we ended up with a particle system, which I'm going to try and find here. Which, again, really, really simple, really quick to make, and uh, I think I'm, we're actually quite lucky that it works so well in our actual game. Uh, what we're using is a ribbon particle effect. And um, what this allows us to do is kind of create the wind trails by just moving the particle system. Um, so if I show you here, as I move, uh, you, you'll see that a kind of like particle system follows wherever I move the uh, uh, the widget. So this allows us to kind of make the waves of the wind, and uh, we can play a lot with it. Um, so uh, we made a a set piece uh, just for this. Well. Actually, we made this just for a set piece, and then it kind of uh, bled into just being the normal wind that we use uh, most of the time in the game. But uh, to show you that, uh, if I kind of play from here, maybe I should be able to show you. Just bear with me as it loads the game. So I'm at the bottom of the house, so I just need to come up, and um, it's for the player to be able to kind of pick this uh, teddy bear up, and um, you can rotate it and you know see whatever you want in the actual item. But then when you turn back, the door opens, and again, as you can see, the wind kind of like goes in your face. Uh, it's kind of like a scary moment. It, it's the, the objective of it is not really to be scary, but just to, you know, kind of wake the player up a little. And um, so that particle system is really simple. Uh, the texture is actually just a, <laughs> a brown. Uh, here it is. It's a 32 by 32 uh, brown dot. Uh, it's got a soft kind of. Um, edge to it so that it doesn't look too harsh in the engine and um, then that kind of gets edited in the um, in their material so that it looks right so if I can kind of find it uh, should we call wind so. so yeah for the wind um, that's not it We can find it by looking in Cascade. 
Uh, yeah, so our material here for the wind is literally just um, we're changing the colour of the actual particle. And our texture sample as well as I said before, just a little dot with um thingy uh, with a soft outline, and then we just use the alpha channel uh, to create the back. Uh, well, yeah, to create the the transparency, so you can kind of see how simple it is. Uh, mm, not sure if you can probably see it very well there, but it's kind of like a little faded, um, faded circle there. Uh, the idea is that you're not really supposed to see it very well when it's still, but um, when you move it around, um, you can see it perfectly. Uh, so again, quick uh, systems that allow us to uh, put in particle effects uh, and get them done as quick as possible. So all in all, these particle effects were pretty much a day's work, uh, maybe a bit more uh, when working out some of the intricacies of, of the particle system because I never really used it properly before. Uh, but apart from that, um, that was fairly easy job. Um, the last particle system that I want to look at, and this is kind of like the, uh, the I would say the the pinnacle of the idea behind uh, doing well, working smarter and not harder, and uh, making it simple and painterly for ether. Uh, it's if I look at the case, um, let's see levels. And I look at the case. Um, we have some uh, birds uh, that are flying around in the case, and um, again, really important that it's as simple uh, as possible. So making 3D birds, rigging them, and animating them uh, would have been pretty much impossible for uh, for us to do, at least in the time we had. So it, we kind of decided that it needed to be a particle system. I um, don't know if you can see it properly in the video, but you'll see that there's quite a lot of birds just flying around the environment. Uh, there's one one guy here, and um, some of them are flapping their wings. Uh, others are just uh, sprawling their wings and gliding. But um, just to give again a sense of livelihood to the environment, like this guy here just has his wings sprawled, same as that one. I'm trying to find some one of them that's. <laughs> Uh, closing and opening it like that one's flapping his wings right there. So yeah. Um, so again, uh, we couldn't afford to model, uh, rig, and um, make all of that uh, properly. So we needed to get across a painterly style for ether and make a particle system as quickly as possible that would basically do the job. And um, we're really happy with these birds. Uh, and I'll show you actually how they were done. If I can find the particle system, there he is. So the board, the birds here. Um, I put a, a blue background on the uh, cascade editor so it'd be easier to see the black birds. Uh, but again, we're using the same principle as uh, we were in um, in the chimney. Uh, so we've got a 4x4 four four texture of the birds uh, flying and um, as you can see it's open wings then it kind of closes them, closes them more and then fully closed and then opening again. <coughs> so uh, the idea is that um, again it, it kind of follows the animation from left to right um, and it's a 256 by 256 texture so as simple as possible and I think we can probably get away with making it a bit smaller anyways uh, to save some memory but um, again it's a hand painted uh, texture um, for the birds and um, again it needs to fit with the ether style so that's the reason for which it's hand painted and um, if we look at the particle system there's uh, three types of bird uh, some that are going quite fast and flapping their wings really uh, avidly then there's the normal um, gliding ones and then there's kind of like a medium speed uh, and flapping their wings version of them uh, that allows them to fly about properly uh, so uh, again it's basically exactly the same principle that I use with the fly it's just really an orbit uh, module so that allows uh, the um, 
the burst of spawn in uh well in this case it's not a sphere it's a it's a box so i spawn the the birds inside of a box and then they kind of orbit around uh different centers within that box um and uh each kind of uh, particle emitter is has a separate um so it has like separate coordinates for where it spawns, so it kind of like allows the birds to cover as much of the surface as possible. Because the case is a really, really big um, environment, so it needed to cover quite a lot of uh, ground. Um, so yeah, uh, the birds uh, fly, and um, basically all I needed to do is kind of a wave to allow the 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 animation to scroll back and forth between uh, the sixteen images. So if I show you uh, sub image index and I show you and I kind of graph it uh, here, you go, you'll be able to see what the wave actually looks like. So it goes from uh, zero to the image fifteen. Zero being the first one. Uh, so uh, the last one would be 15, so there's 16 images because 0 is the first one, then 15 is the last one, and then it kind of like goes up and down, up and down as much as I can to kind of make the uh, wings flap. Uh, this particle system did need tweaking quite a lot because you kind of have get quite a lot of trouble with birds flying through walls and stuff like that that you can't really control as well as if you could, were doing it in 3D. So this was just for this particle system is pretty much a whole day's work at least. Uh, and then kind of like bits and bobs uh, after that to kind of tweak it and make it look properly uh, and make it look good um, but um, all in all I'm quite happy with the result right now and um, it really does the job and uh, we didn't need to uh, make any animations uh, or rig any characters or anything like that so it saved us a lot of time a lot of effort um, but uh, yeah that's uh, the particles of Ether, if you have any questions, please ask me.